last year and what Jessica said it you know the increase of sixty thousand dollars it would probably be normally a no-brainer because it's it's an innkeeper's tax uh, generated fund and doesn't come from the county general fund but I want to bring something up that the, my personal issue isn't so much whether the money's there the money's there but I, I think personally that some of the things that you guys have uh, attributed your funds to and promoted are in moral conflict with some of the citizens of this community so for me agreeing to to an increase I would like to know what um, what processes you have in place for how do you guys plan on uh, choosing what events to sponsor and how you plan on, on spending that money because I was contacted by a lot of people uh, and I don't think I'd be doing my job representing those people if I didn't bring it up to you this is the first chance I've got an opportunity to address it with you um, so for, for me what can you I guess put 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 people's minds at ease that the things that the Tourism Bureau is going to choose to promote and sponsor um, is a reflection and representative of our community and not not offend a, a, a large swath of the population. I'll, I'll speak to that. Good morning. Uh, I'm Brandon Murphy, uh, attorney for uh, the Delaware County Commission and Tourism Commission. We have a, a fund uh, that's the marketing and sponsorship fund uh, that we uh, use to fund a variety of different programs. The idea behind this organization is to maximize uh, our innkeepers tax and promote events that will also bring people to the community. And so some examples of other types of uh, events and organizations that we have supported include Ball State University Sports, uh, Minatrista, uh, the Delaware County Fair, all of which received uh, sums of money in excess of the one I know that you are concerned about, uh, Councilman Webb. Um, I'll let Mr. Uh, Kirby speak to the actual process we use, but I know we evaluate each request we get for funding. Uh, you want to speak to that? Yes, as an application process. Some people call in, some people just go online and respond to the request to submit something for consideration. And those, co those come in and then are evaluated based on what the request specifics are and then decided to be supported or not supported. The board, the board also, you have to, the board does have to support your decisions. Is that not correct? Monies that are allocated. Does the board not still well, the, the, the board supports the overall support of the funding, but then also there are our guidance barometer in terms of how the dollars are spent. So at every board meeting, there'll be discussion on the financials and we'll go through all the details of what's being supported and what's not being supported. For, for me, and again, I'm only one vote of seven, I guess what I'm looking for is some reassurances in, in the event Mr. Murphy is um, referencing. I just want some assurances that in 2024, some of the events we're going to be sponsoring doesn't go benefit organizations that do drag shows for children. That's all I'm asking for. I think that's I a personal matter. I don't think Ryan. it is. I think I it's, I think that it's that relevant. They're asking for $60,000, and I, I just want to know what they're going to do with the money. We disagree with your characterization of the event. As you know, we've had correspondence, Councilman Webb, about this event. We disagree. Um, and, you know, the board is aware of your concern. Um, the board will consider your concern. Uh, the guidance, uh, barometers uh, that they've used in deciding where this uh, sponsorship money goes. I uh, that's the best answer that we can give. I appreciate your answer. Thank you. All right. Do you have any additional questions? Yeah, I do. Yeah. 